Meet Daisy Parascos. She is a graduate journalist. After completing her journalism degree, she settled at the village in Milimbe province when all her efforts in securing a job in a small town weren't successful. She didn't lose hope though. She used her skills to be the voice of her people back in the village, openly talking about the challenges of agriculture. With cocoa and vanilla being one of the highest commodities cash crop wise in Papua New Guinea, Little has been looked at in Maramatana, and I am not ashamed to say that leaders of this LLG have turned a blind eye to farmers who struggle day in, day out into town. So I decided that I will use Facebook and a mobile phone as my office to go on onto social media and show and expose the negative side and the positive side of living in the village. I decided to take pictures of rotting cocoa pods, overgrown cocos from different farms in Awayama. And I realized that there wasn't much extensive work. Her efforts didn't go unnoticed as a huge delegation visited her village recently. She is grateful that she can help in this way. Today, apart from telling the stories of her people, she helps her family farm vanilla and cacao with hopes of one day venturing into downstream processing. She calls on young people in the province to see agriculture as a way forward in all aspects of development. Development will take place when we open up and it is time for the youths of today to rise up and say that let's, let's throw away our guns, let's leave behind the tribal fights, let's stand up together as youth and elites of today to change the mindset and stabilize the economy of Papua New Guinea through agriculture because agriculture is the way forward. Another journalist taking a bold step to change mindsets is Festus Maiganap. He lives in Alotau town, specifically Garuboy Street. The street is associated with PNG's most wanted criminal Tommy Baker. He grew up here, so young men here are closely monitored by the police. But with so much negativity being portrayed against them, they don't want that image to destroy or affect the next generation's conscience. So it is a holistic approach to addressing the different issues that we have. Now, Garubo is um, also associated to Tommy Baker, Papua New Guinea's most wanted criminal. So yeah, we both grew up together anyway. But I've been away for 17 years. After uni, I took up uh, journalism and corporate affairs. Now, coming back to Alotau, looking at uh, our young ones growing up and we don't want them to follow what Tommy has done. Because he's already tagged as a terrorist. Through the cooperative society, youths on the street are currently being engaged in building proper drains on the street. Festu said they hope to expand the portfolio into agriculture in the near future. So we want to attend it around and get them involved in something lucrative. They come to the society, we sell it, and they get a cut, and there's a cut also for the for the society, a little cut. So we're trying to make this, it's an ownership where we want the people from, from the community in Bottom Town to take. This is one way they are helping the province build a new mindset for the next generation. Indirectly, we are trying to assist the provincial administration and the police through an indirect uh, intervention, which is our cooperative society. So now, Shamin Poreambev, National MTV News.